Today we've made the trip down to Broom Pit and we're taking a closer look at fishing the alloy feeder or the hybrid feeder as it's also known as in the colder winter months and it can be a method when you're only looking for potentially four or five bites on a really hard day that you can get some good results on. So we're going to be looking at a few tips, a few little things you can do and hopefully we're going to be catching a few more of these. So the first thing to talk about is the reason why I use this style of feeder over let's say the more traditional method feeder and there's one simple answer for that is the fact that the frame around the outside for me personally creates a neater pile of bait when it gets to the bottom so when it's really cold or when the water's fairly deep these feeders really come into their own to create that perfect little food parcel. Now the tackle you need for it really isn't complicated. I've got a Matrix Horizon X class, it's 12 foot six, matched up with a Horizon 4000 reel, and that's loaded with eight pound line. I personally don't worry about going down on the main line. I fish the same strength all year, and I really don't think it makes a difference. Now the feeder itself that I choose to use is the Matrix Alloy Feeder. The main reason is the versatility and how quick you can change them. So there's a little slit down the back of the feeder, which means you can basically change the size or the weight. So if you wanted to cast further, or you wanted to put more bait in, you could put a heavy one on, or vice versa, if you're really struggling, you could take it off and put a real small one on. So that's the reason why I use those. And then it's, that comes down to a little short four inch hook link and a size 14 hook, which at the moment I'm fishing pellet has got a little bait band on. So as I said, nothing complicated, but when it's pretty hard to get a bite and four or five fish could be a good result, this method really comes into its own. Personally, when I'm fishing any style of feeder, one thing that has been ultra important for me is having two identical setups. Now the reason being is because I want to do two different things with them. So for rod number one, this is the rod that I want to fish on my banker spot, the best spot in my swim. So for me today, I've got a tree line far bank, no pegs that no one can get to. So hopefully that's the red letter spot and I'm going to clip one rod up to that spot and fish it hopefully all day, but let's face it, it never quite works like that. And that's when your second rod comes up. So you can leave that rod clipped up and your second rod, you can rove around anywhere in your water. So that gives you the option of literally finding the fish. And when it comes to this time of year, that is the number one thing. So rove around with the second rod. Once you find the fish, you can put that in the clip and fish that on that spot where you found them. When it comes to bait choice for the feeder, I like to give myself three different options. Now the first one is a ground bait and I use the Hinders Mark Pollard Green Method Mix. Now for me, I'm not sure why, but green is ultra good on commercials. So I've got super confidence in that. When I'm using ground bait, that is the one that I'm using. The next bait choice is probably everyone's favorite. Standard two mil micro pellets, soak them up so they're nice and squidgy to go onto the feeder. And I think if you were gonna take an average, they probably catch the most fish up and down the country. And then lastly, a slightly 
different bait choice is liquidized bread. Now I've had a few situations where I've really struggled to get a buy on anything else. I've put a cast out with bread and I've caught. So that just comes with me throughout the winter months. Anywhere I go, I've got some of that. Now, on the day, there is never a right and wrong answer to what's going to work. So you do have to work at it. One day it might be ground bait, one day it might be pellets, another day it might be bread. But once you've found that out, your session really does improve. So give yourself a couple of options and I'm sure you'll be catching it no matter how cold it gets. When it comes to picking your hook baits, for me it's no different to the bait that goes onto the feeder. I like to give myself different options because you never know any particular venue, any particular day, what's going to be best. So most of the time I use pellets, but I bring myself different colours and different flavours and I'll chop and change until I find what's best. So that's probably 90% of my fishing. The other ones I bring with me is maggots. Dead or alive, it doesn't matter. But if there's not an abundance of smaller fish, then maggots can be really good. A big bunch, sort of four or five on the hook, can really pick out those bonus fish. And then the last thing I now bring with me, and this has probably only started the last couple of years, in where I feel there's more carp anglers fishing match style waters, is a lot more boilies go in. And once carp get attracted and feeding on boilies, sometimes that is what they're looking for. So I always bring with me a bag of boilies because sometimes they do just pick out a bite when nothing else will. And that has got me extra fish, certainly in these last few years. going to talk about and this is probably my number one tip when it comes to this style of fishing is use liquid bait enhancements certainly through these colder months because when you don't want to feed fish but you want to attract them there is no better way than do it than using liquids the one thing you have got to work out is what liquids work for you i'm sure if you asked anglers up and down the country you'd get different favorites from pretty much every different angler but for me I take three versions, it gives me plenty of options. So those are the Sonny Bates Bait Booster in the Bonoffi flavour, it's the Quarter Pineapple Goo, and then the Hinders White Plum Boosted Liquids. I'm confident one of those three will get me an extra bite throughout the day. So it might be the fact that I'm dipping my whole feeder in the Bait Booster to create a real sort of flavour packed area around it, or I'm just drizzling one of the others over the top of it and creating a real sort of homing in area onto my hook bait with a bit of liquid around it. So that would be my number one tip as I mentioned, add liquids into your fishing. There we go. What a perfect way to end a really enjoyable day. Don't get me wrong, we've had to work for them, but that's what winter fishing's all about. We've switched the baits around, we've switched what we've put on the feeder, and we've added some liquid. So all of those points I was mentioning has come into play, and it's made for a really good day's fishing. <laughs>